Hi, my name is Anud Sawani from Palo Alto Networks, and today I'm going to talk about how we deliver SaaS security through our next generation security platform. So when I say SaaS security, what do I mean by SaaS? SaaS applications are essentially applications like Office 365, Box, uh, Salesforce, GitHub. These are all SaaS applications that are being used by our users today. And it's really important to secure these applications as there's a lot of data going into these different applications. And there are four different requirements that we have for SaaS applications. The first one is visibility. You want to be able to know all the different applications in your network, who's accessing what applications, and what sort of data is going to these different applications. The second one is control. Now that I have visibility in all the different applications, I start to build policies on these applications and actually enforce control on the access to these applications and actually be able to provide security for this access. The third one here is data governance. The first two are all about access control, but the third one here is actually data sitting within these SaaS applications. So if you have data that is sensitive within these SaaS applications, it's important for your IT team to know, as well as it's important to actually prevent sensitive data from flowing out to these applications. And finally, the fourth one here is threat protection. And this one's really important because if you have a piece of malware sitting in these SaaS applications, you want to have a way to actually prevent that from happening, as well as prevent the spread of these uh, prevent the spread of malware within these applications. All these four different components are actually termed as CASB, a Cloud Access Security Broker, and this is a very common term being used by our analysts today. Now let's look at the components that are part of the SaaS security solution: the next generation firewall. The next generation firewall is essentially an inline device. It is a firewall that is looking through all your SaaS traffic that is flowing out to the cloud, so you can actually enforce all the different four requirements that I, that I spoke about. I also want to mention that the next generation firewall is available in multiple form factors. It's available as a virtual machine, and it's available as a hardware appliance on-premise. So you can use any one of these form factors to make sure that your traffic flows through the next generation firewall. The second piece that I want to talk about here is Aperture. Aperture is a cloud service by itself, so it is a SaaS security service. What does Aperture provide? It's able to look through sharing permissions of files that are stored within these SaaS applications. It's able to look through threats that are actually stored within these SaaS applications. And it's also able to look for sensitive data that might be stored within these documents uh, stored within the SaaS applications. We also have a third piece known as Wildfire. Wildfire is the largest malware analysis service available today within the security industry. It's able to detect known and unknown threats of data that might be stored within your SaaS applications or data on its way to your SaaS applications. Now let's look at a couple of examples on how these two components provide value. Let's say there's a user who is trying to upload a PDF document to OneDrive. And let's add a little bit more detail there. It's a OneDrive for personal use. And this is sitting in the cloud. Now, the next generation firewall is actually seeing this transaction happening. So it's able to get you all the visibility and control you need for this transaction. So let's look at how it actually uh, happens with the next generation firewall. So it's able to identify the user using user ID. It's also able to identify that it's a PDF being uploaded using content ID. And it's able to identify the application, not just OneDrive. It's able to identify its OneDrive for personal with App ID. So we just saw that three different features within the next generation firewall was able to provide you complete visibility about this transaction. Now let's look at a second example. Let's say if the same user is uploading a doc file also to OneDrive, but OneDrive for business. So that's a corporate account that is paid by your IT department. So let's look at how the next generation provides value here. Same exact three features come into play here. You're able to identify using user ID, content ID, and app ID 
who the user is, what file got uploaded, and it got uploaded to OneDrive for business. Now, what if I wanted to actually uh, create a policy where I allow OneDrive for business access but block OneDrive for personal? And I also go to the level of saying that I want to allow documents going to OneDrive for business, but I want to block PDFs going to OneDrive for personal. So you can actually get very specific within your policies. And we have a feature called file blocking that will allow you to say that I want to allow the doc file to be uploaded to OneDrive for business, while I want to block the PDF from being uploaded for OneDrive personal. So you can actually specify file types, and you can specify the app ID, and you can also specify the user as part of those applications. So we just saw how Next Generation Firewall can provide you all this detailed visibility as well as control for providing SaaS security. What about Aperture? Let's see how Aperture comes into the picture by extending the second example. So let's say this doc file is actually a legal document. So it's a sensitive legal document that you don't want going outside. And it is shared with his personal email address. So john at gmail.com. And so John has actually shared this to his personal email address. So he has access to it even if he leaves the company. Even if his corporate email was disabled, he would still have access. So this is a very common scenario where you've had a bad employee quit the company and still be able to access sensitive information stored within your SaaS applications. So here, Aperture is now able to figure out that using content classification, I can figure out this is a, this doc file is not just a document, but it's a legal sensitive document. So how does content classification really work? So we are able to use machine learning to identify documents. We're able to look for certain patterns within documents. If you just give us a sample document, we're able to figure out that this is a sensitive legal document as soon as we see it in the future within your SaaS application. With another feature where we have visibility into sharing, we figured out that this document was shared. And then finally, with domains, the domain visibility, I was also able to see that this was not only shared, but it was also shared with a personal email address to john at gmail.com. So we just saw how Aperture added all this value. But one thing to remember here is all the different things that Aperture just, just did. We did domain identification. We also did sharing permissions. And we did content classification. These are things that the next generation firewall may not be able to do for you. So that is why it's important to have Aperture as part of your SaaS security platform. You need to be able to combine the power of the firewall along with uh, Aperture to deliver true SaaS security. Let's also look at how Wildfire adds value here. So all these files that are going to your SaaS application are being sent over to Wildfire for analysis. So Wildfire is able to look for both known as well as unknown threats. If this file has never been seen before, Wildfire is able to analyze it within a sandbox environment and be able to detonate it and let each one of these um, devices know whether this is a, a bad file or not. Another thing to remember is if there was a file found with an aperture, it would also let next generation firewall know if that file was a piece of malware or not. As you can see, we have three different services that are coming into play with our SaaS security platform. The next generation firewall, aperture, along with wildfire, all add up to provide complete SaaS security. Hopefully, this video is very useful to provide you a very good picture of how Palo Alto Networks delivers SaaS security. For more information, go check out paloaltonetworks.com. Thanks.